everybody welcome back to crafting on a budget store your store for scrapbooking and anything craft related and so much more may has it all in her store you can use michelle dt that's michelle with two l's to get a discount on what you're purchasing and um there you go. It's www.craftingonabudgetstore.com and you will not be disappointed. Uh, this morning I started planning and before I get to pages two and four, I really wanted to make sure I had the enough for the covers that I wanted before I started cutting into the 12 by 12 pack. So I'm not going to go over how to make the covers. There is a full-blown tutorial I already did on the Minte um, Time of Wonder book that we did. So I am just going to give you measurements, okay? So the first measurement you'll need are your chipboards. And you need two that are seven and a quarter long by seven high. You'll need two of those. And then you're going to need one that's three and a half inches wide. That's for your spine right here by seven inches high. Okay. So once you do that and you cover it the way you normally would, um, then you are going to want to make your hinge. Okay. To hold the papers. The hinge piece of paper is five and seven eighths by 10. And you're going to score it at the following so it's five and seven eighths wide by ten inches long you're going to need your big scoreboard um, and you're going to do these um, scoring lines one and a half two two and a half three three and a half four four and a half five five and a half six six and a half, seven, seven and a half, eight, eight and a half. Okay. And then you'll make your hinges how we normally make them, prep them back and forth. Nice. So that you have them nice. Okay. And then your inner lining pieces. Oh, and in order to put the actual chipboard together, you're just going to need two eight by 10 sheets of eight and a half by 11 or eight, yeah, eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper. And you're going to put them long ways and, you know, put the, um, strip of tape on one, join them together, and then just lay your pieces out. These inner lining pieces that just cover up all the excess white are two and they are five and seven eighths by six and a quarter. And I believe the six and a quarter is the width. So it's five and seven eighths is the height. It's the same height as your binding strips. Okay. Now I did do the ribbons on either side, like I always do. And I showed you how to do that. And this time I stuck ribbons in the center as well, because I want a bow on my spine. So you have to make sure you put that in before you put this hinge mechanism in. Okay. And I did use the, Elizabeth Craft, the wider tape to put this down. And I also used Fabri-Tac just to give it a little extra something. Okay. And then your covers. Your covers, the sheets of paper, are seven by six and three quarters. Okay. So you may have to finagle it a little bit. I'm probably going to put some lace or something here. I don't know yet. Um, but that's what those are seven, um, across by six and three quarters high. You'll need one for the front and one for the back. And then your spine is three and a quarter wide by seven high. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to bring my ribbons together and I want them pretty high up. just to show you the look in case you want to do this to your book. I just, I, I love ribbons everywhere. <laughs> so for me, there's never enough bows. Thank you. 
this way to get my tails to stay down. Oh, come on. fairly tight and I'm probably going to scrunch it all up to make it you know how I like but for now that's how that will go I don't like how it's twisted there hold on I just want that part to be smoother. I didn't like how I was twisted. There, I like that much better. There we go. A little piece of paper there. So we'll have the ribbon on the side and we'll also have the ribbon coming down the um, spine. Okay, so that I really like. I finished the other pages of the um, R1, 3, and 5. So I might put those in now just to save some space on my desk and then I will come back I'll come back and we'll do the two and the four and then we'll work on these inside pieces but I'm finding that I'm not really running out of paper as much as I thought I was um so that's good because <laughs> I was getting scared for a minute there. You know, it's, you know, it's a little overwhelming when you're working on a big project to really see what you're doing. And, you know, sometimes you're just like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to have enough paper. And that, and that's what I was thinking. And I got nervous, um, but I'm not nervous anymore. I have definitely have enough, definitely have enough okay so there's one this is going to be three so i'm going to skip one make sure that you're mindful of the skipping and you guys know how to do this so i'm not really talking too much about how to do this part because you already know how to do it I'm not showing you something that's like, oh, wow, I never saw that before. You guys have seen it a million times, not just by me. Okay. And that way I'll have some more room on my desk and we'll move on to two and four and then the inside things. And then we'll go back and embellishment, add embellishments where we think we need them. Okay. But I just wanted to get this out of the way so I knew what 12 by 12 paper I wanted to use so that I could get those cut up before I start chopping everything over there and then be like oh my gosh I really wanted that as the cover um, so you might want to do it this way too just a suggestion get back I think I had it on the wrong thing One time I glued these in and they were all backwards. <laughs> that was not fun. It's funny now, but it wasn't funny then. Okay. And there's our last strip. 
Let's strip that. Why did that go all the way down? I'm having a problem with this. I'm going to have to add another piece of tape to this, I think. Let me cover this strip back up. For some reason, it's not gripping it. I don't know why, but when in doubt, just add more tape, glue, whatever you're using, because you don't want these to be falling out. All right, let's try it again. page tiny bit crooked this back piece here I'm just trying to make it a little bit even all right take this tape back off again and there we go all right so now we have three pages in I'm just going to shut this like this okay and then we're going to work on the rest of it so we have these to go and we have our in inside um, of our front and back covers to work on as well so I'm going to stop for here and then I'm going to come back and we're going to do those pages and then we'll do some decorating okay so until then, stay safe, be well, God bless you all, and bye for now.